Hey guys, so it's Halloween season, my favorite holiday of the year. Actually, it's now Christmas. Things got a bit busy and I had to put this video on hold, but we're now back to it. And it's time to make another costume this year. So we are going to create a costume and make something out of this. With all the buzz on the upcoming release of The Little Mermaid, I was inspired to create my costume on its most unbeloved character, Ursula. To me, she was the real hero of the movie, an independent, body-positive woman with strong negotiation skills that worked against the patriarchy. I think I'm going to start with just like measuring the top piece of this. I think it's called the bodice. I've heard it in videos, I don't know what it means, but it's mostly in women's gowns or dresses. I think that's what it is. But we're going to make the top piece. To make the bodice, I start by measuring from under my armpits to just below the waist and cut out a piece long enough to wrap around my body. Next, I cut out three pieces of elastic that's slightly shorter than the fabric, pin it to the top, stretch it out, and pin it to the bottom. One for the middle and the other two to go along the sides. With a zigzag stitch, I sew the stretched elastic from top to bottom. This will give the fabric a fringed look, or at least that's what I'm calling it. Okay, I think it's coming together. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be, but I also don't have a mirror up here. I've really just been trying to see my reflection on the window, but that's not working. So I'm gonna have to go find a mirror and see if this is making sense right now. I then fold down about half an inch of the top part of the fabric onto the inside to hide the raw edges and sew it in place. Turning it inside out, I then measure and pin the ends together to secure the back of the bodice for where I need to sew it down. Okay, I managed to slip it on. It is coming together. It actually fit, but my things keep slipping out. But it's looking good so far. Now we're gonna make the tentacles. That is gonna be the fun part. Or maybe it's a tricky part, we'll find out. To make the tentacles, I first fold the fabric into eight layers and cut out a long piece that tapers down at the bottom into a rounded end. The length I went with hangs just slightly below my knees. Using one of the cutouts out of the template, I do the same onto the purple fabric that will be used as the underside of the tentacles. With the shiny sides facing each other, I match a black layer with a purple layer and sew along the sides, leaving the top exposed, and then turning each of the tentacles inside out so that the shiny sides are exposed on the outside. All eight tentacles done. I had a lot of fun putting these together. But now I can get these stuffed and put onto the top piece, the bodice. The bodice? I think that's what we called it. I'm just gonna call it the top piece because I, I still don't know what a bodice is. Okay, so I need to stuff them with something that is stuffing. <laughs> something that is substantial. Yeah, I'm in my basement. It's messy right now because renovations aren't done. But anyway, remember when I was at the condo and I had found a cushion from a sofa? I still saved some of those. It's somewhere in these boxes. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna use it to stuff those tentacles with. So I did find it, but I think I have something even better. I've got some leftover fabric from other projects that I was about to throw out, but instead of throwing it out, I can, yeah, I found it, I found it. I am going to use these to stuff all of those tentacles. And he's still playing video games. <laughs> For the stuffing, I used a combination of scrap fabric that I was going to throw out and some of the fluff from the cushions. Then, with the right sides facing each other, I sewed the tentacles along the bottom part of the bodice, spacing them across evenly and staggering them in layers. Good morning you guys. Day 2 of trying to complete this costume. I'm almost there. I'm like pretty much almost there. I found some lace that I think I'm going to add to this and then I think I should be all set. Also, he still hasn't moved. <laughs> I decided to add the lace as a skirt to go underneath the tentacles to give it some depth and act as a layer to hide any sort of visible camel toe